Welcome, one and all, to the shockingly, somehow, continuing adventures of Frederick Godslayer, our current Grand Prince and leader of the dynasty. Now, at the end of yesterday's episode, we, we were offered a fine deal by the Dungeon Master, one of the events that we have seen before, and that is Death's Deal, whereby we can live for 25 years, but at the cost of 10 from all of our stats, we can live for another, I believe it was 10 years guaranteed, or 5 years with plus 10 to all of our stats. So essentially trading our life force for power, and vice versa, of course. Now, our guy is 69, and I kind of came to the decision that, look, our dynasty is in ruins. You know, our, our guy spent a long time here reforming the religion, bringing, bringing our religion to the darkest place in the world, in brackets, Finland. Uh, <laughs> and basically being th th this champion of a cultural and religious conversion. But as a result, all things have to find balance, and our dynasty has been on the receiving end of all the problems with that. Our son, an inheritor, died. The other son became a temple holder because his wife, the temple holder, died. There are very few eligible god slayers to take over the dynasty. You know, we have a few on the on, on mainland Scandinavia. This guy is Lombard, and uh, he's converted to Dow Germanic now, actually, which is fairly interesting. But they are not suitable to be successes for our dynasty not unless we can get that conversion going and on the subject of that i see he's been released from prison so let's bring him over to court first and foremost let's give him some titles just to make sure he sticks around let's give him some importance in the realm uh we can also name our dedicated uh successor but he's 43 so what we've decided to do then just to go back to the point of death deal with before i get too carried away with the family stuff I opted to take the option whereby our guy loses minus 10 to all of his stats. He was a very good character. Minus 10 for this guy is just about putting him on par with your average CK2 character. So it's very, very, very powerful. But we get 25 years of life. However, when the clock ticks 1st of January, 1060, he will die. So he has roughly 24 years at this stage. Then he will drop down dead instantly, no matter what. He is also not immune to assassination attempts. He's also not immune to being executed or killed on a battlefield or anything like that. A temporary immortality. It's, it's an incredible gift from the Dungeon Master. A massive coincidence that I'm more than happy to take. So then, let's get on with it. Let's rebuild this dynasty. Let's save everything. And if along the way we can upgrade the great city of Dong Island and all of our wonders and everything else there and, you know, get around to writing that magnum opus on the gods themselves as per our character's backstory, I think that'd be fantastic. Okay, where do we even begin? Well, Asbjorn, I actually didn't know that he'd been released from prison, so the fact that we had him in special interest was pretty nice. We've got to try and culturally convert him. It does count as Lombard, which is a little bit distance from our Hanort culture we have right now, but luckily converted religion, which is quite nice. What branch of the family are you from? His grandfather on his mother's side was Yuning, and his father on uh, his father, sorry, his grandfather on his father's side is, that was a descendant of the guy that we gave the cast to, right? No, he's a direct descendant of Fatam. Wow. Okay, so this guy's family tree is a bit more like a family bush, but here he is nonetheless. Hello, Asbjorn. Uh, someone pointed out I was accidentally pressing the take concubine button rather than give concubine button. Uh, so I do need to go through our dynasty members to make sure those guys have all been uh, given family members, that type of thing. Um, well, first things first, let's give you some concubines. We might end up waiting for a marriage longer than we have to. Let's just see if we've got any good marriage fodder here. Like, let's, let's go for the standard genius, strong. Uh, there are strong characters. Oh, strong and astute. What was I doing with you? We were going to marry her off, right? Jinu of House Digby Chicken Caesar. What was I going to do with you? I'd like to see her character page without marrying her off. Um, can I just, like, open that up, though? God, CK2's UI was bad, wasn't it? <laughs> I should probably also address the elephant of the room uh, before we carry on too much. That is Crusader Kings 3. So now that it's actually out in, in Royal Court, full release, etc., etc., I can say that I've had access to Royal Court since October. Uh, October 2021, obviously. I'm not that much of a time traveler. Um... I do plan on bringing it over to the main channel at some point, but I'm not going to rush to get it out or anything like that. I'll play it when it feels right to play, and that'll be going up on the main channel because it's obviously, you know, the latest iteration of the game. But that's all. I, I do have experience with it. I have played it previously before. Not very much, I will admit. The, the, what we've played in this series is more than I've played in, in, in Royal Court's entirety. Uh, what was I going to do with you? I, I mean, I guess, look, given this guy's our successor, I guess we'll just marry him off to him. I think I was going to save it for our grandson, right? Or something like that. But these two are 
Maybe a much more sensible option. Right, there we go. And then let's give you whatever concubines we've got with any sort of... Ideally, we want people like her. She's tall. She's a prisoner. So, I mean, you could argue it's an upgrade. It's not nice either way, but I suppose it's something. Uh, I'm looking for lustful. Hedonist, anything like that. Uh, Midas touched. Some of the higher tier... What is, does that give a fertility bonus? Like 5%, right? 10%. Here's 38, though. That's not ideal. What does this one give? So, Thrifty Clerk is 5% fertility, which isn't ideal either. Man, the slim pickings are. Huh? You know what? Take them. It's better than nothing, you know? And, and even if we just give them to her for a few seconds while we invite other concubines to court, that's already good enough. So, three concubines and a wife. There you go. You are set. And if you don't make a thousand heirs for this dinner, I'm going to be disappointed. My son, Yuan Tong Carroll, firstborn and disqualified, uh, off a concubine. What have we got for you then? Again, kind of slim pickings, really, isn't it? Um, I can find some ladies out there in the world for you. Don't panic. So I guess what we'll do then is instead of having Fat Arm as our designated heir. Oh, he's no longer allowed. What happened to him then? Why can we... Oh, right, of course. We can designate her as our heir, but it, it will just go to the male anyway because we are um, patrician. She won't be able to take the empire or anything like that. Unless... What does happen? No, see, it's still Fat Arm in charge of the of the house, and this is all that matters. What will happen then? What will she inherit if we make a designated heir? I think what that is, is that's coming from the religion rather than the government. But the government takes precedence, if that makes sense. So so we still got to focus on getting that male X. As in swapped over, who's going to take over the dynasty? Let's give it to Aspion. So Fat Arm is Aspion's father. Uh, where are you right now? And we can't bring you to court because you were... Oh, he will join court. He was a spy master, but he's not anymore. Obviously, there's been a little bit of, uh, of upset there. Probably where we converted everything to Dow Germanic. We might have uh, un unexpectedly saved the dynasty there to some extent, or at least a part of the dynasty. Right, here we are. Fat Arm the Young. 63 years of age. I'm going to put him out to pasture. Uh, and we're going to we're gonna try and just kind of give him some concubines and let him live his retirement out where he's not going to cause any issues. Let's get some breeding stock going then. What an awful thing to say. There you go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Would you like a concubine, my friend? Welcome to the realm of the land of the rice and snow. Here are three ladies for you. And let's see if we can find him a marriage too. Preferably someone like she'll she'll do. She's she's absolutely fine. You know? Oh, she got like a she got weak clan on the Duchy of the Isles, but she's just and she just dressed like that. I genuinely thought she was a priest or something. Oh, she is a priest. She's our matriarch. That's in our councilman. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Right, okay. So he's got kind of an alright marriage out of that one. She's burly. There might be a chance of a child. Okay, this is good. This is going well. And then let's find some better ladies for for our firstborn son. I think it is a little bit better than just the, the, just the chaff. You know, the pennies behind the sofa. A horrible thing to say about actual human beings. They are real. They're real to me. Lustful. Uh, join court, preferably. Uh, 27. Cracker. All right. I mean, I suppose that's something. Invite to court. Uh, like hedonist. Nothing. Um, why don't we try, like, quick... Uh, she's quick, but she's tiny. Uh, let's go ahead and just invite you to court then. Fast as fuck, boy. Uh, short but quick. Absolutely fine by me. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Brains mean more than brawn these days. Uh, and these days, I mean, of course, the 11th century. We're a bit past the barbarian brutishness of our Norse ancestors, you know. Uh, off a of concubine. So you go, my friend. I've got the, the premium selection for you. No? No? How dare you? Should I just give him something and shut him up? Well, ideally, a concubine. Take this cloak. We can't wear that winter linen cloak anyway. If we got anything better, we could just give him to shut him up. Uh, like golden bracelets. Serpent spear. Oh, they're both quality too. So let's just give him that. That might be enough to allow him to take a concubine from us. He doesn't want to, you know, have his, have his opinion curried by us at all. We could try and... Let's have a private conversation with him. Get to know each other a little bit better. Minimum improvement of five best improvement at 15. Oh, we got nothing at all. There you go, we got five. Okay, that's good. And uh, let's see if now you'll take a concubine. Look, I just need you to breed, okay? Thank you. <laughs> what a horrible thing to say. Um, give him some money in exchange for... Yeah, whatever. Just take it. Just take it. It's worthless to me anyway. Here. Son? Uh, what about those other two ladies I invited to court? Oh, there's a Lustful. Yeah. What was the other one? It's one who was tiny but quick or short but quick. Uh, off a of concubine? What happened to her? Did she not turn up? Was it her? Oh, she got betrothed? 
Oh, for Christ's sake. Well, that's no use. Get out of my court. Uh, we can break a patrol. Yes, there you go. <laughs> Very clever. And then let's give you uh, her instead. You know, I've decided I'm not going to marry you off to that lord. And instead, I'm going to give you to uh, my son, the temple holder. As breeding stock. Someone died. Who was it? Who was it? Someone had a lot of artifacts. Skull trophy. Blank. Ruby bracelets. Blank, 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 blank. Skull trophy. Blank. Oh my god, so many blank artifacts. Who the fuck died? Fat arm died. Excellent. Great work. Okay, that's good. Because that's cleared the way for Asbjorn to take control of... There you go, the Godslayer dynasty. Uh, we actually don't need to bribe the campaign as much as we are. In fact, do we need to bribe it at all? We do. He's not that well respected. Okay. Well, let's pump some funds into it. Again, I would be happier if... Uh, oh, what's this? An old book. Uh, Sure. Oh, it's a blank book. See, blank is destroyed. Well, let's destroy that because I'm just going to destroy them all anyway in a second. So we might as well. Oh, uh, so we did get a GR protector. That's kind of fun. Sex appeal plus 10. The only problem is we've got Thor's gauntlet, uh, which swapping out for a sexy armband is probably not not ideal for the guy who's restored the religion, huh? Well, let's go through here and see what crap we've got. To oh, my God. There's so much to give away. Uh, someone has to make a mod. I, I mean, it's, it's almost impossible just behind the scenes to do much. CK2 UI modding, unfortunately. You can resize windows, you can reskin windows, but you can't make new windows, uh, with the exception of the off-map screen. Maybe with some clever work, there could be something done there, I'm not entirely sure. But there's got to be some way to fix this, right? Because this is a state. Well, the simple answer is don't add so many cluster mods, I suppose. There, there must be something, like a button you could press. That, well, you can't add new buttons. Whatever, I'll, I'll sort something out, don't worry. One day. So I notice we've got this option here to found an academy. Because we have 75 count tier titles, we have 5,000 prestige and 1,000 gold, we can form an academy to educate our people. And there it is. The Dow Germanic Academy. The great ruler of... The great ruler, Grand Prince Frederick Godslayer of the Land of the Rice and Snow has instituted a great academy for education in his realm. All the promising young men of Dow Germanic are flocking to the new center. Must be noted that such a universal institution exists for the will of one person. When they die, will their heirs be able to maintain it? And this guy is in charge of that. Wisdom Cha of the Great Academy. He's a doctor of law. You are the headmaster, I see. Oh, and he becomes... I was about to say, we'll vassalize him if he isn't already, but he is vassalized. Oh, that's quite fun. Should we give him some land? Should we give him, like, a temple or something? That'd be kind of nice. If we can get a temple here in uh, Bay Eastland, where, we, where we've got the uh, library being built, that would be pretty cool. Give him a temple there so he can, he can have, a, like, an office. Oh, you know, I might mark him with special interest. Oh, I mean, we'd probably find him fairly easy by going like this, but... Uh, where are you? There you are. Wisdom in the Great Academy. What do you want special interest, my friend? We'll have a chat later on. I'm surprised you don't have a much higher opinion on me, given that I made you. <laughs> Never mind. Right, cool physician, then. Uh, no renowned physicians here. I guess Gun, the King of Iceland, can take it. Sure, why not? Well, then. That's good. I think we've, I think we've kicked things off pretty well for our dynasty. I think we've arranged, what, like, seven? Well, we, we, we had arranged nine concubines, of course, but... Old fat arm died before he could at least pop out another child. Let's go and do something for Frederick. As a little reward, you know, an incentive. Now, we got very lucky last time getting that armor set, which allowed us to... Or uh, getting the event which allowed us to get that quality 4 armor. Every good emperor deserves jewels. The finest of jewels. So let's see if we can find a goldsmith befitting of our status. And let's more importantly see if we can get lucky. Oh, there you go. We can see over Aorus. Is that in uh, Denmark, right? Somewhere, anyway. Uh, let's go for another conversion, then. Sure. So what, what do we need to convert over? Anything blue we've already converted. Anything green is ours that we can convert. Anything red... What does red mean again? That's like a realm bordering somewhere we have converted, so we essentially send people to go and proselytize, but that could result in them being murdered horribly. Or something like that. Um, I want to go for... So that's the, our holy site, of course. That's a holy site. Wait, no. Zealand and Paderborn aren't. Not, not anymore, at least. Um, yeah, Finmar... Yeah, so we can't do anything else with regards to the holy site. So we might as well keep converting our... Well, Iceland itself. The capital, huh? Nothing displays authority like fine jewelry. This guy's arbitrary, greedy, and envious. Um... Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, keep an eye on this guy. 2,000 gold. We're in debt for the first time ever. My God. Your hunting dog needs proper training if he is to perform well during hunts. Of course, we're training personally. Wow. Uh, maybe we should send our troops back out there. Our retinue got completely smashed, didn't it? 
Let's rebuild. She's got like entirely cavalry. Seems a little overkill. I guess we'll just go pure shock. No, defense. That way we've got defense against, funnily enough, cavalry, which is the big counter to light infantry. I guess we'll just go defense on it. Really, we should we should swap it all around. There you go. Whatever. Come on. I wonder if we need the thousand gold for it to have a chance of the event popping up. Thank you. Let's see what happens. It's obviously just very, very, you know, yeah, it's very, very low chance to fire anyway. My brother in the Hermetic Order, Murad, has stepped forth with an idea of a ritual might invite the presence of a divine being. I will spend some copper on that. And this guy's found some more Hermetic writings. We're going to go to uh, uh, Dor... Dor... Doraleon. <clears throat> Which is how that's pronounced, by the way. Here we go. We're going to summon the divine again. So what do we want to... They're going on a mad drug trip, basically. That's all That's all this is. They're not actually summoning the divine. Uh, let's go for secrets hidden throughout the world. Intrigue is our lowest stat. Hero's crown and the axe of the ancestors. Very nice. Not really what we wanted, but that's okay. And we got plus one intrigue. That's fine. That's our lowest stat kind of brought up to scratch a little bit there. Now, bear in mind we've dropped all of our stats. We'd have to be a little bit more cautious about making enemies because our intrigue is lower. Diplomacy is much lower. Well, I mean, they're all equally as low, of course, but our diplomacy is still pretty good. Intrigue, we've only just bumped up to 10. So we'd have to be a little bit careful that we are going to make a lot more enemies. Things aren't going to run as smoothly as they had before. So let's keep an eye on that. Let's, let's just save up a little while. Let's save up. Build back our retinue. Daughter died of poor physique. How tragic. Too many nuggies, I'm afraid. Oh! The death of Slurf Gun has left me without an apprentice. His brother, Budley Slurf. <laughs> the Lionheart. That's kind of cool. He's a very good character. Well, good for him. Go to Odin, Gun. Damn. The quest has been failed because our apprentice died on the way. Is that my fault? Uh, let's name you the new king of Ireland, then we're going to have to try and win over a little bit. So I guess I'll name him State Inquisitor. I'm sure we've got some old artifacts we could give away at this point, right? I'll start chucking them at random people. Like the chainmail, we don't need. Take that. That's all yours. You're welcome, my friend. Don't need the chainmail. We've got much better armor anyway, right? I'm not going to recruit a cult position. I think our realm's probably big enough at this point where we can... I mean, yeah, this guy's pretty good. Chinese philosopher. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then we'll take him on as an apprentice too. That seems like a good idea. And there you go. Already, things have kicked off well. A son was born to Asbjorn, Godslayer, and Lou, uh, Linda Liu, named Pemo. Hello, little Pemo. Bright little Pemo. Perfect. Okay. This is our nephew, so our grandnephew here. Okay. Obviously, I would like to keep things patrilineal, if possible. If we go for our son's son, that would be the most ideal scenario. Then we can trace the bloodline more or less directly back to... Oh, I was saying that, though. We've played as the second and third son quite frequently. But as long as we're playing as the sons of our rulers, so it's a direct line, I think that's I think that's a little more interesting. Um, little Pemo. What do we educate you in, little Pemo? Bright. Hmm. Should we just go for, like, a generic good education? Just go for conscientious. Because that's just, like, a good outcome either way. This is always the strongest choice for an education because we get shrewd out of it. Or have a chance. <sighs> what do we need to do for the realm next this is the real question we're making the money we've solved the religion and the culture maybe we should go for a bit more military prowess all the pieces are in place all right all the pieces are in place let's, let's do something with it um king of ireland you are a mighty warrior you're actually a very mighty warrior educate my newborn grand nephew if you please and then we'll also name an advisor i suppose keep him happy Okay, uh, and church is what they need. 300, God, fucking hell, the second we get out of debt. We have to do it. This man is the most pious man we're ever going to have. We have to do it. Excellent. Oh, he's a king now. Oh, this is the king of Finland. Right, excellent. Thank you. Great news. Uh, someone's escaped from prison. That's a good point. Could we maybe ransom some prisoners out? That might earn us a little bit of cash. Man, we've got to get this retinue rebuilt. I can't afford to spend money on anything else, but when it's for the gods, I mean, you've got to play the character, right? And the whole point of this guy is to do stuff on behalf of the gods. Good lord. Uh, yeah, give me that one. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. We could take out some money. Not going to do that. Composing a book. Oh, we are composing a book, aren't we? Did we start on the magnum opus? I suppose we can't have quite yet. The book is coming along. I feel like there is something missing from its pages. We do have more records, my lord. Details of the god slayer, you might say. But we'd have to spend some time digging them out of the graveyard. Uh, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. Sure. Let's do it. Let's go out there and dig up the bodies of our... Oh, no. 
Oh, no. Well, we can't die from disease, uh, I, I assume, from this. I, I assume it just sets us as immortal for the purpose of, of however long you took it for, so for 25 years. So that means disease shouldn't kill us. But we'll see how it goes. I think we'll be absolutely fine. Was it just like pneumonia or something? Faithful, catch! In the past few months, you've been spending a lot of time outside training your trusty hunting dog. You found a combination of daily physical exercise and fresh air are doing wonders for your health and constitution. Excellent. That's great news. Another son, Anselm. Anselm the Ugly. Oh, God. Um. Oh, they're all Lombard names. Oh, these suck. Let me take over. I'm going to call you... Uh, Ugg. Lee. I don't know. I've got to make it Norse. Uh, uglier. <laughs> uh, and then let's train you in... Big, ugly. He's a little bit bright. Oh, he's short as well, so we'll make for a good fighter. Um, sneaky boy. Intrigue. Intrigue character. We need brooding from that. Uh, brooding. Here you go. There's no real good way to train a intrigue character, unfortunately. Haughty and brooding. Okay, uglier. Ug uglier? I suppose it's close enough, isn't it? I was going to say that doesn't look like it's spelled right at all, but how the hell do you spell that correctly? We do have pneumonia. Not really too bothered about that one. I think we'll probably be fine. We could call a new Chinese tutor. A uh, new military tutor. Great news. I'm not entirely sure what they do, to be completely honest with you. Your core physician has come to see you and offers tri several treatments for your illnesses. Uh, no. There was a chance we'll lose Brave from that one. I am inferring from that. Let's just say as long as you know what you're doing. A daughter. Gartha. Oh, attractive Gartha. I'm going to call you, um... Garthor. <laughs> ah, sometimes I impress myself. Uh, we're going to train you in etiquette. Of course... She's a daughter. She'll make for very good marriage stock, but we could also make her a, a ruler of a castle, so diplomacy will help out with that one too. Uh, gold. More gold down the drain. Let's start building up this retinue. At the rate we're going, we're in, a, we're in a horrible cycle here where we're just spending money on everything but ways to get more money, you know? Okay, we lose a little bit of health. We lose a few stats temporarily there because of a botched treatment, but it's not a big deal. And we are now up to... Oh, hello. Grandson. 12 years of age. Okay, I want you to become gregarious. If he becomes charitable, not a big deal. Did become gregarious, very good. I guess his father gets just to choose all of his education then. That kind of sucks. Anyway, we've been promoted to Magus. Great news. Uh, I guess we'll immediately hold a mass debate. As I expect many members of the Mass Society to appear for the mass debate. It's, I need to change the localization on that, don't I? It's of the utmost importance for everybody that everything is be as flawless as possible. In the spirit of the preparation, in this spirit... <clears throat> I can't read. Why am I here? Don't invite me to this hermetic debate. I can't even read. In this spirit, comma, the preparations are well underway. With the help of Paradox proofread things. <sighs> right, okay. Well, let's see how things go then. How are... Oh, there you go. Mnemonic is gone already. How are our armies looking? Only 8,000 so far. How close are we to using our cap? Nowhere near. My God. How many boats have we got? If we're limited by boats again, I'm more than happy about that one. So total fleet size, 317 plus 163, roughly. To what is that, like 480 boats total? So we need we can get 48,000 troops, but any more is diminishing. We've got 8,000 already. We've only used 14,000 of our retinue cap. So we can hit the amount that we need for the boats pretty early. This is too many ratios to try and think about in my head right now. Um... That should be, what, 16? So if we do... I hate this. <laughs> Why could it not have just been one-to-one, -one, Paradox? There's something annoyingly pompous in the speech of Duke Aubrey. When did he become an expert on the nature of the inner and outer cosmos? Sighing, I close my hand around the vial in my pocket. Would be worth it. What do you think? Are we going to become a... a either we sabotage his chances with our, with, I guess, a stink bomb or something like that? I have no idea. Uh, using tin and a heart. What the hell? Either we're out it as a childish prankster, giving minus one lining, or we're going to tarnish his reputation. Oh no, both of those will happen. They're not mutually exclusive. Or I will respect my fellow scholars. You know what? Fredrip has got such a big brain. I don't think he has to worry about throwing a stink bomb at someone or whatever it is he plans on doing. I respect my fellow scholars. Of course we do. Of course we do. He's... Uh, at the age of 45, Asbjorn died a natural death. What the fuck are you people doing? 
Oh, my lord. Okay, ugly, ugly, ugly. What are we training you in? Pride. Uh, intrigue, I remember. Uh, let's throw you to an intrigue character. Uh, she. She's pretty good. Uh, G G Garthor. Uh, learning. Oh, this is horrible. I, I, I'm trying my hardest to keep this dynasty alive, and they're just trying their fastest to not be alivened. To, to be alivened. Uh, Grimmer Godslayer. Who the hell is Grimmer Godslayer? Germanic and Han. Oh, you have the wrong types of both of them. Shit, it's more of this branch. Am I to court? No. False religion? Ugh. What the hell are we going to do about this one? Oh, cool. Thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and invite him with promises. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I mean, let's try it. Grand Council position. Not up for it. Is he on the council? He's not. So if we can buy a favor, which we can't afford. 680 gold. You greedy boy. He was actually a greedy boy. God damn it. Okay, well, let's save up the money. I mean, this guy's our heir and successor. I can't leave him to a foreign realm. Many distinguished themselves in the, the debates. None, however, performed as well as Sheik Mirza, who has been declared the winner. I wonder what happens if we're declared the winner. I assume we just get some, like, learning bonuses or something like that. Uh, there is a 10% chance, though, that after the final guests have left, leaving the peace and quiet behind, I sit here and reflect upon my own contribution to the debates. I realize I have much to learn. I will have to prepare myself better for the next debate. 10% chance of one learning? Nothing. Not that I'm too worried about the learning stat of all things. Okay. Designated air then. We, the, the, as fast as I try and rebuild them. Things are falling apart pretty rapidly. I guess we give it to... Who is better out of Pemo and Uglier? I mean, they're both short. But this kid also has Ugly. I mean, realistically, I'm not that bothered about... Uh, that work? Or they have to be an adult? That kind of sucks. Um... They have to... I, I mean, their education is going to be the most relevant thing, right? They're, just whether or not they're ugly or not is, is more or less irrelevant if one is a shit character and one's a great character, right? Wow. Okay. Um, my God, turns out we have very little influence after all, eh? Uh, all right, let's get used to court then. So, I've saved a little bit more cash. Saddle my horse. We're off hunting. The, the dynasty is falling apart. A giant of the lands has approached with a giant club challenging my room to the realm. What? 6% chance of dying. Oh, no. To gain 200 prestige, we gain brave. We will either... We will either get away with it. We will survive with a 59% chance. We'll be wounded with a 35% chance. 6% chance we die. But we do get Ekasax to our treasury. Oh, my God. <sighs> I was going to say, if we hit the 9% chance to die, and then that would have been awful. Oh, there's our crown, by the way. Uh, very nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, Ekasax, there it is. The sword of Herbert, used when he saved the giant huge bulb. Uh, brilliant. And no icon for that one. <laughs> Why finish your mods? Why finish your mods? Just put them out there in the world half finished, huh? That's fine. It's not, it's totally not destroying my immersion. Uh, no. What is this? Well, it's certainly better to wear a mask than not. My mask does make me feel like an outcast. However, I've recently had a great idea. What if I arrange an extravagant masquerade ball? Then I would not be the only one, and perhaps all will forget about my disfigurement for a while. As soon as we get the money again... Oh, Lord. Okay, you know what? Uh, why, why have I got you special interest? You were the guy whose ancestor we stole the hammer from. You are no longer on my list of things to worry about. Uh, we got Gary Prime still out there, too. God knows how the hell he survived for this song. CK2 loves to kill characters randomly, and this guy's still going. It's a little bit unbelievable. Uh, bring, we have to bring our head to our court. Let's buy his favor. It's impossible to invite because he's married. Ah, shit. He's married to a good Dow Germanic handles. What's the betting I arranged that marriage? I almost certainly did. I mean, we could offer him some concubines. We can't offer him concubines. Oh, shit. A secondary wives. We could arrange him a marriage. Just marry him off to some ladies. Yeah, there you go. That, that'll have to do. We can't bring this to our court anyway. So you know what? Let's have a masquerade ball instead. Why not? You've gathered your followers and hunting dogs. We set out to hunt the great white bear. Our new heir is Pemo Godslayer. Great news. One years of age. We've inherited Paderborn from uh, Hugh Yuan of Godsingen. <laughs> Godsingen. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, we could always give that. Who are we going to give that to? I have no idea. What the hell are we going to do with you then? Um... I'm just going to give it to her. I don't care. Yeah, take it. That's, that's yours. We could upgrade it to a castle or a city. Uh, we need a large market city. I'm not messing around that much. Yeah, just take it. Madam, this is your tribe. You look over. Oh, she's got the holy. 
She's also dense. Minus four to everything. Wow. That's unfortunate. All right. Masquerade ball it is then. The feeling of being able to blend in with the crown, at least as well as any Grand Prince, can is exhilarating. As if people have forgotten about the face behind the mask and treatments they did before. The guests seem most impressed by my elegant dancing. Finally, they see me and not my scars. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad we did that. Ten years. Plus two diplomacy, plus 15 sex appeal. All attendees' opinion changed by ten. And got dance all night. Scouring the countryside for your prey, you come across a lone rider. As you strike up conversation, it turns out he also hunts the same great animal as you. Uh, please join me at my court. Rui. There he is, Rui the Hunter. You've returned to your, to your court. The hunt for the elusive white bee seems fruitless. There are many more things out there in the wild. So maybe next time you will catch your prey. I won't give up. Wow. Holy crap. Well, I feel like we haven't done a massive amount for the dynasty today. We've, we've kicked things off quite nicely. Uh, of course, the, the children are being well educated. Uh, Zhang Chen, whenever he's of age, we'll name him our successor, I think. As long as he's not disqualified or anything like that. That would not be ideal. I guess because he's in line. To inherit in this bloody temple, right? Unknown successor. I wonder what happens. I'm not sure. Uh, it might be. Uh, it might be down to this kid as well. It's a weird time for the dynasty. Two characters, both Fatam and Aspion, dying well before I was kind of hoping they would is, is definitely a setback. Twenty living members, though. <laughs> we've done something. What we've done, I'm not sure, but we've done something. It really is just down to either of these two children, isn't it? Oh my god. Okay, let's get you educated then. Ask permission for heritage focus. No, no, no. I don't care about that. Uh, can we educate him? Yes, we can. I'll educate the other son. Thank you. Right, there you go. So both grandsons being educated. Those will be our eventual successes. This kid has just got to survive to the age of 16. Then he should be eligible for inheritance. Unless he's going to inherit the temple, at which point, no, he won't. Let's get this retinue rebuilt before I get any more distracted. And then tomorrow we will come out swinging. And hopefully soon... In fact, we might be able to right now. We'll be able to write our magnum opus. 23,000 troops. How close are we? We only need 500 points, as far as I recall. Um, choose hermetic art. Oh, that's very true. We could choose a hermetic art. So we can swap mystic for scholar or mystic for theologian. Honestly? I think we've got to go theologian. Oh, look, it changed our background and our mask. Oh, how fancy. Uh, and then... Uh, when we save up the points again, when we get to 500, we'll write our magnum opus. Thank you all for watching. I think the dynasty is on its way to being saved. Those two guys dying almost instantly is a big blow. And we can't do anything about the other guy on the mainland. So we're just going to have to hope. We have heirs. It's not the end of the world, okay? Worst case scenario. Worst case scenario. We just don't inherit the empire. Which is fine, because it just means for a single generation, or at least until the next successor, this guy dies, 52 years of age. It might be, we might just have five years not in complete control of the realm. That's not necessarily so terrible. That's the worst case scenario here, right? So really, I'm not that, I'm not that concerned in the, in the grand scheme of things. But we're on the right path regardless. Thank you all for watching. See you all tomorrow for more Frederick Godslayer.